Okay, in this video we're looking at combining like terms, but we're mixing the distributive property into the process. So you see problems like this, where it says 2x plus 9 times 9x minus 4. Now, remember, you know, basic order of operations where multiplication comes first. So it kind of creates this big term because here what this means is 9, and then when you have a parenthesis next to it, that just means 9 times the term inside. So this is a, a product, and that will come before adding. All right, so let's deal with the second term right here. Distributive property, 9 times 9x, that's 9 times 9, or 81x, minus 4 times 9, or minus 36. You just multiply the 9 by both terms in here. Then we have our 2x, and you want to add, so it's 81x plus 2x, well that equals 83x's, and then minus 36, and we're done. That would be our answer. Now some other basic ways they can mix this up, it would be to add negative signs in. So perhaps they would do 2x minus 9, right, and then times 9x minus 4. Well, in this case, and this often confuses students about why you want to treat this as a negative 9, you don't have to, but you can, um, and here's why. So you can think of this as 2x plus negative 9 times 9x minus 4, what would this equal? Well, this would equal 2x is still there. Negative 9 times 9x is minus 81x. And then negative 9 times negative 4 is plus 36. So I know it was plus all of this, right? So we're adding all of these things. But really, if you add negative 81x, so if I put a plus here, because it was 2x plus all of this stuff, Ultimately, if you add negative 81x, that's just like 2x minus 81x anyway, and adding a positive 36, which would be plus 36 anyway. So um, really, if you assign this, the, the subtraction sign as a negative value, you're not changing anything, but you're making the sign distribution a little bit easier. You don't have to even do this in here because adding a negative or adding whatever you have here won't change value. So now you have 2x minus 81x, that's negative 79x, and then plus 36, right? And you're basically done. Now here, the last thing could be, um, oh, wait, let me show you how to deal with this if you don't want to try this technique. So you have 2x minus 9 times 9x minus 4. Okay, if you don't assign as a negative value, if you think of it as 2x minus put your parentheses here, because now you're subtracting whatever values you find, right? That means subtract these terms. So 9 times 9 is positive 81x, but remember when you subtract that, it'll become negative, and 9 times negative 4 is negative 36, but you will get the same answers as before, just this last step that might trick you up. So it's 2x minus 81x, so 2x minus 81x, but we're also subtracting negative 36, that's plus 36. So here, <clears throat> be careful that maybe you want to subtract each term inside, or you can think of it as distributing the negative value to each term. And that's the same answer, negative 79x, right, plus 36. And that's pretty much it. We can keep messing around with the negative signs, but the, the idea is still the same. Thanks.